following interview was conducted with, with Professor Theodore Williams, Professor Emeritus of Engineering and Director Emeritus of the Purdue Laboratory for Applied Industrial Control for the Purdue University Oral History Program. It took place on Monday, April the 6th, 2009, at his residence in West Lafayette. Also sitting in is his wife. Thank you. Welcome. Tell us a little bit about where you were born and your parents yeah, and no, siblings. I want you to notice that, that uh, it's Professor of Engineering. Okay. Professor of, uh, of Engineering. No, Professor Emeritus. No, no divisions. Right. Professor Emeritus of Engineering right. and Director, yeah. uh, Director Emeritus. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Tell us a little about uh, where you were born and your parents in the early years. As I told you, I'm not very good at this. Okay. Just take your time. All right. I was born on September 2nd, 1923 uh, in, in, the, in the village of Grafton, which is near to Black Lake in, in, uh, in um, what's, what's the county? Indiana, Indiana County. Yeah, but it's, yeah. Uh, uh, Pennsylvania, September 2nd, 1923. And, uh, and of course, uh, my, my father was working on the, in the steel mill. He was a, a foreman in a blast furnace group. And uh, very, very soon after that, uh, we, he went out to Chicago uh, to do the same job for the same company in the bigger mill out there. And they were out there for uh, two years or something like that. No, that was only, it could only been a year because my, my my uh, sister was a year old, younger than me, and so my mother wanted to have sister back in Pennsylvania, so she insisted he had to take her back. And that was, that was a harrowing uh, trip because she decided to go when she felt her first pains. Can you imagine that? Wow. <laughs> and he had, well, he had about 70 miles to go. And uh, they got there, but uh, barely. <laughs> <laughs> Close call. Yeah. yeah. So I was born. I was born blackly then. Okay. Now, did, uh, did you go to school, early school? Did you go to your grade school there? And then tell us about high school as well. No, no. Uh, let's see. What, what are these? Yes. Yeah. I, no, I went the first year though. Remember, uh, my uh, mother's sister. Her name was Sue. Uh, she was a teacher in the, in a two-room school. She had the first four grades, and then somebody else had the other four grades. And uh, and uh, I went to school there for the first year because my mother was expecting one of my brothers, and so I stayed over there for a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Went to grade school there, and then what? No, I was just for one year. One year, right? Yeah. yeah. And then you came back. Yeah, I came back and went down to Gordon School. Okay. And no, uh, we didn't go the whole way through. Um, I, I, that my, my, took the you know they have a, an examination in, in in Indiana County for people to see whether or not they're able to go to college. Well, I passed it when I was in seventh grade, and my sister passed it when she was in sixth grade, at the same time, and so. Uh, um, <coughs> I wanted to go to college, of course, but we didn't have the money. So uh, uh, I, I sometimes say it was the World War that released me from being a farmer. Because <laughs> otherwise, I wouldn't have gone to college, I wouldn't have gone to the farmer. Because I went to college under the uh, bill, of course. Did you? Well, then you served before you went to college. Where Where did you serve in the military? Well, I was a I was a navigator on a B twenty four Liberator bomber. And uh, we we served uh, uh, in the Pacific. Okay. And yeah. how long were you? In, when did you enter the uh, service? Well, let's see. I was going into service. I think it was uh, November eleventh, nineteen forty-two. I guess it would have okay. been. Okay. Yes, forty-two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we got out uh, June, June, June twelfth, wasn't it? Uh, Forty. Yes. After the war, after the war was over. Yes, as soon as, as, soon as the war was over, sure. because okay. I'd been in all. Right. Long. Were you married at that time? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No. I was. I was already hooked up, though. She oh. already had me lasso. <laughs> 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 
No, for the record, his wife smiles and she understands. <laughs> uh, let's to just back you up. You are going to edit this thing, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, you have to copy the trend. Let's ask a little bit about high school. Would anything, any activities in high school that you participated no, in? No, Nothing? no, I couldn't. Oh. I wanted to go out for athletics. I wanted uh -huh. to run is what I wanted to do. Sure. I, could, I was small and it was pretty fast. But uh, we, um, we live out in the country, seven miles from town. And uh, there was a, one of the neighbors uh, bust, busted people in a car. And so everybody else wanted to go home, so I couldn't, you know, sure. I couldn't go out for right. athletics. Because of transportation, you need That's to get right. back and That's forth. Right. Uh, too far to walk every day. Right. Once or twice would be all right, but not every day. All yeah. right. A little bit. That's yeah. right. All right. Now you're out of the service, and then uh, is that when you came? Where did you go to college? Penn State. Okay. In fact, uh, uh, let's see, we got out, wasn't it something like this? We got out on the 13th of the college in the 15th or something like that in September? Never mind. I don't want you to have to take me. Uh, of 40, 45 would have been, right? When you entered? Because they, they, they were, uh, no, 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 that's not right. Because it opened in October. Yeah. But anyway, uh, how did you happen to sign? I guess the, 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 the 12th was in order to sign up yeah. for school. Because I remember uh, we went in to see the the uh, uh, principal of the high school, and uh, he knew some of the people at Penn State, and and, uh, and uh, he said that I ought to get up there right away because the, right, the next next session was starting, so we went right up. And, and sign went, took, took me right in. Uh, if I had, let's see, I, that was in September. If I hadn't gone out of, in February, and February is important because that's when I would have, I would have graduated as a pilot, you see. Uh, if I had waited to, and all the guys that were in that, my class that graduated, they kicked them out of the service right afterwards. But they waited four years to go to college. It was still up that fast. You see, the colleges were not equipped at all for the load that came through, as you probably right. know. Right. That's what I've heard after the war. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They waited, Some of these guys waited four years to get in. Wow. Where, did you get married while you were at Penn State? Mm -hmm. Okay. Were you then, were you living on campus and you were married at that time? When you were in, at Penn State? No, we, we, uh, we, had, we got an apartment somewhere. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What was the campus like in the, after? The, was it pretty crowded then with a lot of people that had served well, in the war? It wasn't when I got there, but very quickly was. In fact, uh, they had to build a, a great big uh, housing development for the, all these veterans come in, dragging their wives and children along, you see. Sure. Yeah. And As so, other universities had to do. Yeah, and we, we had lived in town uh, for about six months, eight months, something like that. And then, of course, uh, the, 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 one of the professors that I was, I, I, I got to, let's see, how, let's I get this all straightened out. Uh, you went to work right away, but then of course the first child was coming, mm -hmm. and so uh, that was, that would have been my second year, yeah, because I was up there alone the first year. That's right. Second year, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right, okay. Uh, we knew that she was going to have a baby, I think it was like Thursday or Friday. And on Monday morning, when I went in, I was a sophomore then, went into the biology class, uh, the professor said that he was going to ha have a, uh, uh, some part-time work because he worked on the side. They didn't get much money back in those days, you know. And uh, so I was the first one to line Monday morning to, <laughs> to get a job. And of course, he knew who I was in school, and so being first in line, I got the job. What was the job? What did you have to do? Well, the job was to, uh, he was doing a lot of work in distillation. You know what that is, yeah. And uh, he had a, had wanted to develop a set of equations that would actually model the action of, of a distillation column. Uh, it turned out that it, when you, he wanted us to do this first by hand and then on a disk calculator, 
And uh, so I spent about six months punching a desk calculator. And one of the problems we were having was that the um, um, result that you got when you, you, you see, we had solved these differential equations, uh, simultaneous distillation equations, of course, by hand. And we had to do it mathematically because there was no formula because too much. And what was happening was we would go out and then all of a sudden the thing used to do a thing like this. See? And he had no idea what it was that was causing that. And neither did I at first. But then I realized what was happening <coughs> that the we we took we would take take this thing and do it to ten places and then cut it off and do have six places, see? And what was happening was that that part that was broken off uh, was necessary to give you the right answer because otherwise you start doing this. And it, we have found out later there actually is a theory of differential equation solutions This is exactly that. So these things that come in one group well, this way, see? But I figured out that if I would take uh, three of, of the th things that I'd done and uh, take uh, the two outside ones and take the middle one and then average the two outside ones and then average again with the middle one and use that number, that was good enough. Okay? So every five steps I had to do that all the way through. And when we put this thing on a computer later, Purdue eventually got a computer, part of the internet, and I was, one, again, one of the first problems to try out on the computer. In fact, uh, they got so interested in my work that they put me in charge of running the computer. <laughs> at Purdue? Huh? At, this is at, at Purdue? At, at Penn State. Oh, at Penn oh, State, yeah, okay, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would run the computer. And not only was I doing my own calculations, but all kind of other calculations for everybody else. <laughs> you were the expert. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah. When did you graduate from Penn State then? Well, we would have graduated in 50 or 46 and 4, right? It would be 50, right? 50, 50, 19. 51. Uh -huh. Was it 50? 49. Oh, 49. Yeah. Okay. And then you, you, then you stayed on for your master's at uh, at Penn State. And yes, what? well, I got my master's up there. I got all three degrees up there. Okay. But I, did, we just went straight through, didn't we? Well, it was interrupted there when you were recalled to duty during the Korean War. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I got hauled in for the Korean War because I got into the um, National Guard because it would make me $60 a month to help feed her, see? <laughs> <laughs> Every little bit helps, we know. <laughs> she had big influence on that happened to me, you see? <laughs> I see that. So you had to, you had to uh, go to... So and then, then we got hauled in, of course, for the Korean War. Sure, okay. Oh, yes. And then you came back to Penn State? Yes. Okay, and yeah. finished and got and your. Finished. What did you get your PhD? And what was your research? What was your major area? Uh, well, as I said, I've been working with this professor. Sure. And of course, that's what we did. Okay. We, uh, you continued working in yeah, biology. Yeah, working in, and then of course it was uh, batch distillation. Chem and biology. Huh? Kind of biology. Chem and journey, but the, he, she wanted to know that what pro, pro, product product or project level work. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Well, the research. Oh, you knew it was chemical engineering. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, after you finished your PhD, what came next? We went to Monsanto, I guess, didn't we? Okay. Yeah, we went to Monsanto. I was there nine years. Can you tell us a little bit about some of your work there at Monsanto? Were you in St. Louis? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 We actually published a couple of papers there. Yeah. Yeah. You did um, quite a bit of work with uh, uh, application of advanced control theory to production processes. Mm -hmm. That's what you were doing? Okay. Yeah. And then I mentioned earlier, you were, how did you get well, in that team? Go uh, ahead. Uh, what I was doing is sure. I, I was developing these equations. Okay, continuing that, on. This isn't quite a, a statement, this is what, but, that, right. but they didn't know what else to say about it. <laughs> 
Well, when you read the things, you get it a little bit differently, and that's when some of the, some of the re research that I did had just put it sort of in a little phrase like that. But then um, you, were, you would start doing some teaching there out at, at uh, Washington University. Yes. Yeah, right. Yes. Was that for a semester, or how, to, how did oh, that work? No, we thought, we thought, what, what were they? Uh, 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 no, I... Every year that thing too, wasn't it? Well, I was, let's see. That's hazy part of my memory. Well, but that was kind of a long trip, so you probably s spent a semester out there, or uh, teaching a class? Well... I was there for a while, but uh, yeah. I don't remember. I couldn't tell you. It was only yeah. three or four years, wasn't it? Okay. But you sort of be on leave. You'd go out there and teach and then come back. Is that how, while you were at Monsanto? Is that what you would do? No, no, no. We'll yeah. see. No, was I teaching for Saturdays? Is that what it was? Yes, I yeah, that's yeah. okay. It's part time. It was anyway. nice. It was nice to get that adjunct kind of thing there. Yeah, it's part time yeah. anyway. Yeah. Sure. Okay. And then I guess the next thing is you came to Purdue. How did that? Uh, how did it come about that you came to Purdue? How would you recruit it? Well, Nora Shreve there. Huh? Nora Shreve. Yeah, Nora Shreve. Yeah, of course, Nora you know who he is. But how the heck did you learn about me? I don't remember well, he, now. He was a friend of one of the uh, vice presidents at Monsanto, and he recommended this gentleman from Monsanto recommended you highly. Oh yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Shreve told him you want to go get that guy. See, and that's what they did. They went and got you, right? They went and bought me. Here. <laughs> Boy, I got a good salary compared to other people, I guess. <laughs> What was the uh, campus like when you came in? The, it was 1965 that you came, right? Yeah. Uh, as full professor of engineering, is that what it was? Yes. Okay, yes. all right. What uh, was the campus like when you came? Probably not as many well, students. It was just in, the, just in the beginning of the big expansion. Sure, okay. And, uh, and, uh, Do you remember uh, where did the engineering, I worked on a new engineering building. It was right out at the end. So, and we were down at the, in the uh, veterans homes area down there for a while and then we're out in, in the town but when you walked in you walked into the same area, side of the campus where I worked so I frankly didn't see very much the Reno campus okay no. all right no. well let's talk that's a little that's right isn't it yeah. all right yeah, straight okay. me out <laughs> here I think you're confused with Penn State we, we, we came here and Mr. Lux rented us a home. He, Lux built this house. Oh, yeah. Oh. And then we moved in here in December, just before Christmas. But uh, you're right. That was Penn State. We lived in the uh, yeah. senior Okay. Houses. In the veterans' college. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Well, that's okay. Can, I, can we talk a little bit about that laboratory for applied industrial control? Uh -huh. You were the director. How that came about and what all that, what was involved in that for researchers tell us a little bit about that. <coughs> was it a new laboratory at oh, the yes. time? Oh okay. yes, absolutely. It was started here? Well, uh, let's see. I don't. I don't. I can't. I can't get the break because the that's all right. Plague uh, Purdue Laboratory of Applied Nursing Control was a full time job, mm -hmm. and so uh, somehow, where was it? Where was it? Somehow I got out of teaching and ended up running that thing all the time. Sure, but well, I can't tell you the circumstances right, right now unless she can. Well, there was a gentleman who was in charge of a laboratory. It was not called that, but you. He was retiring, and they suggested that you take it over. I can't think of. Oh, the petroleum name. engineering lab, you mean? Mm -hmm. The is that? No, it's a laboratory. The P L A I C. No, no. Oh. That's for the laboratory applied industrial control. The other was the other the other one was was the petroleum refining laboratory. Uh -huh. Is that the one you're talking about? I guess it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. But but I never worked there. 
because they they that was a, a full time job put on by standard of uh, Indiana, and uh, and these guys really were going to eventually work for Standard of Indiana. So, no, I I never worked in that place. Okay, was that something but, was on campus though? The facility. Oh yes. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Well, do you you tell us a little about the you ran this the lab? What what sort of work was done in the laboratory? Well, all these calculations I've been telling you about. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you have? And I had some students. All right. I was I was it. Okay. I didn't have any help uh, professionally. I was it, and I had a bunch of students. I guess one time as many twenty, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and we were doing these same calculations that okay. we're talking about. Do you recall where was it located? Uh, in the engineering building. Uh, in uh, ENAD, the engineering building. No, What's no, called no, ENAD? No, 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 no. Is there are there two engineering buildings? Well, you, Potter, of course, is the engineering building. It was in Potter, and then there was the engineering well, administrator. Potter, yeah. Potter. Potter, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did you know? Did, then when you came, who was was the the uh, dean? Was Dean Potter the dean when you came? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. And you did. Um, let me ask you this: on the lab, what was the funding? Was the university funded, or did you have external support? We started out with university funding for a year or so, and then it was very made very plain that I had to get funding from outside. Okay. Well, were you, was it difficult in those days? Oh yes, yes. Uh, did you did you get government? Yeah, uh, I had to do a lot of traveling to get funding. Right. And of course, uh, let's see. Maybe did you get some industry support too? Yes, but I can't tell you. We had we had a standard for a little while. Okay. But what I what is on my mind is I ended up I know I don't know how nurses we were paid. That's what's worried me. Because uh, I didn't have grants to that degree, did I? Mm. Probably the university, then that's okay. And no, you gave no, 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 something. Yeah. something and you gave uh, uh, some short something course. else going on. I don't remember what it is now. Well, when you get the transcript, we can just edit that in. That's okay. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, there were some. You gave some short courses and held some conferences here too. Oh yes, yes, we had a lot of short courses, and of course they they paid the university sure. for them. Right. Maybe that's where some of those things. Yeah, came probably from. right. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's talk a little. Um, is the lab still going? The, no, the, no. It, it died with me. You took it with you, right? Okay. <laughs> no, no. Nobody that's, else wanted to touch it. Hmm. That's interesting. I was well funded, but nobody wanted to do their work. Oh well, that's too. Is good. that right? Oh, I think that's very true. Yes. Huh? Yes, I think that's. Well, there's another thing too. You know, you know as well as I do. Every professor wants to do his own planning, you know, mm. and you don't want to do anybody else's job. Do their so own thing. Huh? That was probably the main reason. Yeah, uh, no matter how good my lab was, nobody wanted it because they <laughs> had done it. Oh, well, let's just make a couple comments on the uh, after Potter. Were you uh, Hawkins was the dean of engineering, right? Yes. At one time, and then yes. uh, Hancock. Yes. Okay, so you served under yeah. under them. And we talked a little bit about the campus in the 50s and 60s, and it grew. The campus grew. Oh, yes, yes of course. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, heavens, yes. All right. And now, so, but uh, as I say, uh, I never saw any of that because it was back and forth. That's back right, forth, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the awards and honors that you have received. And I'll start with these two, and then you have others. That Sir Harold Hartley Silver Medal from Great Britain's Institute of Measurement and Control. And as I understand what you said earlier, off, uh, before we logged in, that you were the first, the only American, to the best of your knowledge, it's a British award, correct? Yes, British award. As far as I know, I'm the only one outside of Britain that ever got it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the ceremony. Where was it held? It was held in a restaurant. <laughs> in London? Yes, in okay. London. All right. Uh, That's interesting. Uh, yeah, I went over especially to get it. And... Uh, Apparently, 
I don't know why this was picked, but what was the name of that place? Uh, Pig and Whistle or something like that? Something like that. I yeah, I think the name I was called this Pig and Whistle. And it, we were upstairs on the second floor, and uh, and we had come over because they were had, they'd gotten this hotel room, I guess two or three blocks from where this place was. And uh, this one day, time at noon, we went down to the Pig and Whistle and went upstairs. And, and, uh, there were all the people, right? Oh, they had 15 or 20, right? Mm -hmm. Something like mm -hmm. that. Is that right? You were there, of course. Yeah. <laughs> huh? I wasn't invited, darling. There were no women there. Okay, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> no, no problem. Yeah, f fifteen or twenty. They were members of the of the Engl Co English uh, Chemical Engineering Society, which they gave me the award, of course. That's very nice. How about the Albert F. Sperry Founder Award from the Instrument Instrument Society of Amer America? You got that award. Yes. Yes. Did they let you know in advance, or was it a surprise? How did it come about? Do you remember? I think it was a surprise. Yes, because that's the way they do it. Because I've seen. Just be sure you're there, right? Huh? <laughs> Just yeah. be sure you I'm come. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so it was a surprise, and uh, of course I was. I've been president of that. Of course, we had to work up these things too. Of course, that way. Yes. That's very nice, yeah. Now, you also are a fellow in a number of associations, the American Association for the Advancement of Science, American Institute of Chemical Engineers, Institute for Measurement and Control, American Institute of Chemists, and you were the president at one time of the American Automatic Control Council. Yes. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that particular association, uh, that association when you were the president. Uh, what sort of I'm things? I'm sorry, which one? The American Automatic Control Council, you were the president at one time. Yes, yeah. because they started it. You big pardon? Huh? You started it? Yes. Yes, that's that's a, a layoff or from the, my, my laboratory work. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How did, um, did was it then it was started here while at Purdue, and then it became a national. Is that how it came about? Well, then we started. No, I gotta get I'm get this and not a a fifth mixed up too. Mm -hmm. No, it, it must have been here. Yeah, oh, it must okay. have been here. Okay. Yes, it has right. to be. Right. A fifth started out in uh, Nevada, but then uh, but uh, no, this one was must must have been here. Yes. Right. And then we you mentioned earlier about an award that you got, but you were president at one time the American Federation for Information Processing that's Society. What I'm yeah, that's the other one I'm talking about. Sure. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, and you got an award from them too, yes. which is yes. nice. Nice to have them as a surprise, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. I, unassuming as I am, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, switching gears a little bit, one of the things that I read was about that special interest, the work that you did with the Sugar Grove Cemetery, about the troops from the Revolution. You got the gravestones restored. Well, uh, I belong to the Sons of the American Revolution. Okay. And one of the things that they do is uh, is to take care of the cemeteries in their area, area. okay which includes uh, well, let's see about four townships I guess in southern the southern part of the county here in fact we uh, put flags on all the graves that are American revolutionary soldiers buried out here uh, and uh, Turns out we have at the moment we have 21, and and that's over about as I say, two or three townships of the county, and it takes us all day to go around and it puts 100 miles on the car. Yeah. Do you do it for Memorial Day? Is that when you put the uh -huh. flags? That's Saturday fun. before Memorial Day. That's yeah. very nice. So it's coming up here pretty close. Yes, that's right. I yeah. know exactly. And we put American flags. The one foot flag, you know, one foot this way and what, 15 inches this way. And we put one of those on each one of those. Uh, now, sometimes people beat us to it. Some they want to put flags on too. So well, we, we don't have to put that flag out because it's already there. But normally uh, we uh, do that. How many years have you been? Are you still doing it? You oh, still yes. do it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. In fact, I've been wanting to keep it going. The guys get tired and. <laughs> but I've been doing now 
Oh boy, ever since we came here, haven't I? Almost, yes, yeah. that's right. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what in your retirement, tell us about your retirement activities. What uh, sorts of things are you involved in? Well, Anything special? No, no, no. You volunteer for any of the community things at all? No. No? No. In fact, we don't even work too much for the church because uh, too, too many people beat me to their jobs. <laughs> 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 no, I are sure up there, and that's about all. Okay. Uh, let's talk uh, about family. And as I said, his wife is sitting in. Do you have children? Yes. And uh, did any of them go to Purdue? Uh, nobody went to Purdue. Yes, Katie did. Katie did, yeah. Yes, Huh? Katie went to Purdue. Mary Myers got her nursing degree from Purdue. Yeah. Oh, from Purdue? Uh -huh. Why don't she ask you? You know all this stuff better well, than that's me. that's okay. <laughs> well, where are the children now? Do they, any of them live here? Yeah, Charlie's across the way over there. Uh, he's the major in the, the local county police. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess that means that's the highest ranking officer, I guess, major, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so he's a deputy. Chief Deputy, I guess they call him. Chief Deputy Sheriff. Okay. And do you have any other any other children? Um, any? Well, uh, huh? Well, but I mean, uh, there's St. Louis, and uh, Mary Margaret is up in Chicago. And uh, see, so one more. And Elizabeth. Huh? Elizabeth yeah. Is in Wyoming. Yeah. Well, Elizabeth is way out west. Mm -hmm. uh, she and her husband. Uh, well, they like to say it's a ranch, but it's 18 acres. <laughs> but they still call it a ranch. And uh, and they, they work in town in, uh, out up there, yeah. They have their own, what's, uh, what they do they work? They have their own ranch, as I say, even though it's only 18 acres. They, do they raise something on it? Huh? Do, or do they have horses or what? Oh, they, these are all pets, you know. They have, they have a couple of steers that are pets, and they have a couple of horses that are pets, and they have a flock of chickens that are pets, and the, Flock of pigeons that are pets. <laughs> Quite a different a variety. Oh gosh. <laughs> Whereabouts? What state do they live in? Whereabouts? In, in Wyoming. In Wyoming. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe they could drop in and see Joe Tiller because he's moved yeah. to, back to Wyoming. Yeah. Drop in. <laughs> oh. they're, you, they're down in the southeast corner. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a um, Purdue tradition? Any uh, Purdue tradition that you'd like to share with us that comes to mind? You got Purdue? No, I not that I know of. Okay. How about an outstanding event? Come to mind in your life that you'd like to share with us? <laughs> Nothing except connected with the family. No. Very good. All right. We all went to our state football fans until the last few years. Football fans. But, but those aren't special events, though, are they? Right. But that's nice. Them. It's a tradition. You like? Do you still go to any of the athletic a events at all? No, only the football games. Okay. You know, well, I, don't, I don't like basketball. I always say, and you only have to play the last three minutes of a basketball game. <laughs> the rest of it's <laughs> just just build up. Yeah. Now <laughs> I um, like it, the football games. Though, yes. Yes. In closing, is there any specific comments or uh, that you'd like to share with us? As you look back or look no, ahead? No, I don't think so. Okay. We really appreciate I'm Sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. Um, we really appreciate the opportunity well, for thank you. the interview, and we thank you very much. And thank you. Um, My pleasure. It was nice to meet you. Thank you.